Our gold wedding and anniversary scrapbooking dazzles come with 138 acid-free and lignin-free stickers in wedding and anniversary themed designs. And you'll find that these are perfect for your 12 by 12 scrapbooking. Of course, at the top, we've given you an example um, project from our designers. And you'll also find even more ideas on the back different ways our designers have used these dazzles to embellish their projects. And you're going to find some unique ways of using them here, hopefully that will inspire you to get creative with your dazzles. Uh, also on the back, you're going to find some step-by-step -step instructions for how to work with your dazzles, and then some great tips on how to embellish with them as well. Here at the bottom, you've got a nice layout of all the images you're going to find. Again, there are 138 images in this collection. And in addition to that, you're also going to get kind of a bonus. When you remove these images, you'll find that you have some innies left over at the center of your dazzle sheet. You can pull those off using a transfer sheet and apply them to paper to get a bonus image. So let's go ahead and open this up and get right into our dazzles. Now these dazzles are made specifically for 12 by 12 scrapbooking. They would also work great on other projects. But as you open them up here, you're going to notice that instead of a 12 by 12 sheet, you've got three 6 by 9 inch sheets. Now this smaller size is not only easier to work with, it's going to be easier for you to store as well. So go ahead and just peel those off from the backing. And we'll take a look. Between these three dazzle sheets, you're going to find, again, a wide variety of images. You've got some larger focal images. You've got lots of smaller accent images, some words and phrases, as well as some border pieces. So a wide variety of things to use on any part of your project. And let's go ahead and look at taking off one of these large focal dazzles and placing it on our paper. We're going to start with the wedding dress here. And you can just pick maybe the top corner. And I like to bend the paper a little to get that corner to pop off and get it started with my fingernail. Once you've got it started, you can just grab a hold and pull. Now the dazzles will resist in some parts a little bit because they are stickers, but they are pretty sturdy, so just go ahead and keep tugging on them. If any of these little circular areas stick a little, you can just use your fingernail to peel them up and then keep on pulling down. Again, the only part to watch for are sometimes on these little swirls, you might need to add a little assistance with your fingernail. But otherwise, the dazzles are quite sturdy. So just keep pulling them off. Once you've got it off, you'll see that it really holds its shape pretty well. So it's not too flimsy. And you're going to go ahead and stick it down. So you might want to pick a corner to work from, maybe the top or the bottom. Go ahead and stick it in place. And then you can smooth it out from there. If you get any little bubbles or bumps or misplace something a little, these dazzles are pretty forgiving, so you could just peel them right back up and um, place them down, smooth them out again. So there you go, you've got that lovely accent on your paper. Now if we revisit our ideas for a moment, you'll find that once you've got those on your white cardstock or paper, there are some different treatments you could give to add a little more color. You could go back through over your dazzles and add chalking, colored pencils, ink, pen, paint to add a little color to the center. Or you could also feel free to experiment with placing your dazzle directly onto patterned paper or colored cardstock or even some specialty papers. We've got an example of a card using Pergamano paper on the back of your kit here. So that's placing a large focal dazzle. Let's take a look now at working with those border dazzles. We're going to start with one of these heart borders. 
And you can go ahead, the first step of course is to peel it off. So get it started at one end. And just like our other dazzles, you might have to help some of those swirls out with your fingernail. But otherwise, you can just pull up. And if you feel a little resist, that's normal. And we'll just peel that right off. Once you've got your border in hand, you can line it up against the edge of your paper and go ahead and start from one end here. and lay out your dazzle. If you want, you could use a ruler or a guide marker to help you get a straight line here. You can go ahead and press that into place. Now you've got a couple different borders um, going on on this sheet, and that's kind of a neat thing. You'll notice that this is not a 12 inch border, it's a six inch border. So that was not only easier to place than a 12 inch border, but it's gonna allow me to kind of combine the different styles of borders I'll find. I've got a matching border with the hearts on this page, but I've also got some just plain dot borders. So I might just choose to finish this off with a plain dot border. Again, this is gonna be a six inch length and that's not only easier to handle, because you can imagine placing a 12 inch border would be a little cumbersome, but it's also, um, it gives me a little more flexibility here. So you'll want to just butt that end up right against the end of your first dazzle, put, put it in place, and then smooth out the rest of your border. And there you've got that full 12 inch border effect. So a neat way to add that full 12 inch border to your project. Coming back to our dazzle sheets here, a couple more ideas for you. You'll find lots of tips on how to embellish your dazzles once you've got them on your project. And then feel free to get um, inspired by these project examples and start playing around with your own dazzles.